Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a breakdown of this lovely lightsaber. Now, I actually built this in a co-op class a while ago, and there was a mix-up uh, in the 3D printed parts that I designed. Uh, I don't remember how, but none of them came in. So the only custom one I have is this one designed by a friend, but more on that later. Now, if you are looking to build this kind of lightsaber yourself, I will leave as many links as I can in the description, and if you have any questions, then feel free to contact me. So for now, let's get to the breakdown. So the lightsaber components are divided into four main segments. The 3D printed pieces, the hilt, the electronics, and the blade. Let's start with the blade. The blade is a simple clear plexiglass pipe with, on the inside, a non-clear plastic pipe, which is very thin, resonating the light very well, especially when it's dark. There is nothing on the tip, it is just blank, leaving this dot to follow me wherever I point it. The blade is very simply removable. There was a, originally a piece of glass on the tip which had a mirror in the bottom which reflected the light back down towards the hilt, but I hit something with it, it flung off, and uh, I've never found it again. So moving down to the electronics segment, it is lit by this wonderfully bright LED flashlight. The LED flashlight is powered by four AA batteries that are stored in the base of the hilt. They're held in place by a 3D printed end cap. This was designed by a friend of mine. So, uh, more on the 3D printed parts. The second 3D printed part is at the top. This piece also works as the blast shield, which you see in many lightsabers, but its practical purpose is to hold the blade in the hilt of the lightsaber. It does a very good job of that, and it is necessary to hold the blade, seen as the outer diameter of the blade is, of course, less than the inner diameter of the hilt. Moving on to the hilt, the hilt is a simple metal pipe with a wonderful chrome finish that has really held up over the years. I have put this thing through quite a bit, and the chrome finish is very nice. You will also notice on the outside of the hilt some d designs made with electrical tape. Now there are more plans for this lightsaber. I do plan sometime in the future to design and order more 3D printed parts to go on the outside of this to benefit it aesthetically. So hopefully I will manage to get around to that someday. And I think this is about it for the physical components of the lightsaber. All right guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do everything that YouTubers normally tell you to do except my channel. Yeah, feel free to contact me with any questions and I'll see you in the next one.